Hello, how are you today? Hello, Christoph. I am good. How are you? I'm good too. Good. I'm going to get my hair done after this class, so I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the important stuff for women. <laughs> Hi, Jose. Hi, Shanae. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I have a good time right now. Um, take advantage to use Kalingo in this free time. There you go. Sounds like a plan. Of course. Well, this starts. This class starts my ten class countdown to maternity leave. So this is class number ten, and we'll just work down from there. So next week is my last week with you guys for a while. I miss you. I will miss you guys too. Huh. So. But. Got to get this baby out at some point. <laughs> <laughs> so you're yearning that. I can see your dog. Yeah, that's Marley. Can you They're, introduce us? Actually, all three of them are in here. And a cat. We have four animals joining us in class today. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Marley, Kaya, Chico, and... Alice. <laughs> I hope someday you can introduce us to your dogs or cats. There's a lot of them. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. I see. There's a lot of them. <clears throat> they like to come in here and eat while I teach. It's such great timing. So... Hi, Hamoud. How are you? Good. Fine. Good. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. Hello, Isam. Hello, Shneer. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I'm great. Good. Good. So, today, guys, we are going to, um, we're going to talk about um, a movie that was really popular in the 90s. Um, when I was a kid, this movie was super popular. Um, it's a movie called Scream. Have you seen it? It's kind of a horror movie. Not a very good one, but it was really popular when I was a kid. Um, Drew Barrymore was in the first one. Um, just the title of the movie was Scream. Uh huh. The title of the movie was Scream. Mm. So um, they're actually making a TV series out of this movie. So we're gonna look at that, um, and in the meantime, we're going to talk about possessive pronouns. Um, Yesterday we talked about personal pronouns, so today we're going to look at possessive pronouns. And um, also briefly go over S endings in words. So um, let's have everyone just quickly introduce themselves. Um, Hamoud, and for those of you who are watching outside, um, if you don't know me, my name is Shanae. And I am from the United States. I live in California. And um, happy Friday to everyone. So um, if you just want to say your name and where you're from, and then we'll go ahead and get started. So um, Hamoud, let's start with you. Okay. 
Can you turn up your micro uh, your microphone at all, Hamoud? It sounds like you're really far away. Okay, but uh, because I am uh, in uh, a cafe and uh, it is crowded. Okay. Okay. All right. No worries. No worries. Um, Isam. Hello, everyone. My name is Isam. I am 30 years old. I live in Greece, Athens, currently, and uh, I am improving my English to be fluently with uh, my teacher Schnee. <laughs> I hope so. That is all. Thank you. Excellent, Isam. Um, Jose? Hello, everybody. My name is Jose. I'm from Peru, and I love that. And uh, Christoph. Hello, my name is Christoph. I am from Silesia in Poland, and I am a programmer. All right. So, um, warm-up question for today, guys, um, is who does? Let's see. How, I don't. This is going to sound like a really stupid question, but um, it it does have a purpose. I promise. Who does my television belong to? Belong to you. Belong to you. It belongs. Uh huh. It belongs. Belong, belong to you. Mhm. Mhm. It is your. Yeah. Who does it is my? Your, it is your. Hmm? It is my, Yeah. It is yours. It is mine. Your. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So um, I know I said I, I said I know this sounds like a really stupid question. Um, Krishkov, let me ask you, who does your computer belong to? Uh, this computer is mine. It is yes, very good. Exactly, exactly, guys. So um, this is just kind of to show you what we have in store in terms of what we call possessive pronouns. So I know they sound like really silly questions, but that's okay. So let's um let's first talk about the S ending. Now the S ending, I would say the two actually I'm gonna back up a little bit. The two endings that I hear the most issues with with non-native speakers is the ED endings and the S endings um, for different reasons. Um, ED endings are often mispronounced um, by non-native speakers. S endings normally are dropped off a lot of times by non-native speakers. When we're talking about third person singular, um, especially when we're talking about verbs and possessive pronouns, um, we have a lot of different S endings. Um, we actually have the S sound, the Z sound, and the IS sound. This is important to remember because, like I said, we're going to be talking about possessive pronouns, and a lot of times um, non-native speakers will not pronounce the end s at all. And it's really important that you do pronounce the end s. Um, again, with with verbs, with third person, when you're talking about verbs and um, possessive pronouns. So let's kind of go over this. So the first S sound sounds like um, a snake. So can everybody give me their best impression of a snake? Snakes? Yep. Like those things that slither on the ground that make the... Uh, no, uh, what? Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, good. Good, Isam. Yeah. 
So can everyone else give me a snake impression? <laughs> Meow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so one thing about this sound is it's what we call a voiceless sound. There's no vibration. If you make this sound and put your hands where your vocal cords are in your throat, you, there's nothing there. There's, it's just air. There's no vibration. Um, we call it um, a voiceless sound. We will use this particular S sound after other voiceless sounds. So, for example, um, the p, p, the P sound, um, the f, or the F sound, the voiceless TH sound, um, the T sound or the T sound, the K or the K sound, and finally, we'll use it after the H or the H sound. So. This is when we'll use this particular end S. So repeat these words after me. Um, walks. 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 Bets. 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 Yeah, let me type these down too. Whoops. We have walks. Walks. Bets. 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 And tops. 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 Yeah. Um, Hamoud, if you have already taken this class um, and you don't feel you need any practice with with it, then you can um, you can watch outside. Or I think there might be another class going on. Um, so it's up to you. <laughs> so. Um, these are just, we're working on bringing new lessons every day. Uh, well, not every day, but um, generally we have 36 right now, I want to say, 36 different grammar lessons and pronunciation lessons. So that's where we're at right now. So um, we're working on that. We're working on that. The deal is, is that they all have different interests. And if you take a class once, that doesn't necessarily mean you're an expert either. So I have students that take the same class over and over again until they feel like they're an expert. So it's up to you, though. So um, if you're bored, then by all means, you can try the other class, because I believe there's another class going on right now. Um, so I don't know. That's my best answer for you. So. Um, all right, so that's the S sound. So let's talk, well, that's one of the S sounds. Um, let's talk about another sound that uh, the S can make, and it is the Z sound. So can you give me your best impression of a B? Mm. Yes. That's a good one. That's actually really good. Nice. Very good. Um, we have lots of bees out here in California right now. <laughs> so, um, which is good because they pollinate our flowers. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. they complain the bees die. They do die. I know. I had to, I had to save one this morning, Christoph. It was in one of my horse's waters, so I had to get it out. But... <laughs> Yeah, I, I saved the bee, but they're good. <laughs> if, we wouldn't be around if we didn't have bees. So, <laughs> bees buzz. <laughs> buzz. <laughs> um, so, unlike the first sound that we were talking about with the S, um, like a snake, the Z sound <laughs> has vibration. It's what we call voiced. So... If you put your hands on your vocal cords and make the make your B impression, um, you have the B sound. So um, and it vibrates. Um, we 
will use this sound after other voiced sounds. So, for example, um, repeat after me. So we have films. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Good. He's he's some. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Records. 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 Yeah. Records. Good. And walls. 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 Yeah. Walls. Exactly. Good. So, um, this is the Z sound. Notice that you have, if you just have film, the mmm, that is a voice sound. If you just have record, the, the, the D sound is a voice sound. And wall, the l is also a voice sound. So, if you have a word whose last sound in the singular form is voice, that's when you would use the Z. Now, the other sound is, I don't know what animal makes an is sound, um, but I can tell you when we use it. <laughs> um, we'll use the is sound um, at the, after um, words that also kind of sound like an S. So, words that have a um, S sound at the end, um, a sh sound at the end, a ch sound at the end, a j sound at the end, or a z sound at the end. Let me give you a few examples. So we have watches. 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 Good. Purses. Purses. And roses. 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 Good. So again, you can see that watch in the singular, it has that ch sound at the end. Purse has that s sound at the end. And rose has that Z sound at the end. So that is when we would use the is sound. I don't know. Is. I don't know what. I guess a, some sort of bee. Maybe a bumblebee. We have these things here in California that are called June bugs. They're these really huge green things. They don't hurt you, but they're absolutely terrifying. <laughs> they scare me every time I see them because they, they kind of make this sound. They're like, zzz, is They're huge. It's like a mutant bee that comes after you. They're scary. So, I don't know. That, that might be a, an animal that makes an is sound. So, um, this again, this is important because we're talking about possessive pronouns. And also it's important because, like I said, when I hear native speakers speak a lot of times and they need to make a, a verb plural, um, they will leave off the S. So, make sure you don't do that and practice your S endings. So let's now talk about possessive pronouns. So possessive pronouns are based on three things. They're based on gender. They're based on um, person. And they're based on singular, singular, singular or plural. Okay? So let's talk about gender first. So... We have masculine. This is very similar, by the way, to what we talked about yesterday with personal pronouns. Because um, personal pronouns are based off the exact same thing. But we have different words for them. So we have masculine possessive pronouns. We have feminine possessive pronouns. And we have what we call neutral possessive pronouns. 
Okay. Um, this will happen in what person? Mm, animal, for example. Um, okay, let me rephrase that. So the next part that it's based on is person. First, second, or third. When do we have gender-specific pronouns in first, second, or third person? Mm, with uh, singular. Okay, that's first, um, the third uh, is uh, she and uh, he. Yes. Right. So that would be what, Christoph? First, second, or third person? For second person, it's you. Right. Well, no, what I'm saying is when do we have, um, when is it important that we use the proper masculine, feminine, or neutral form? For, for, second. Third, for third person singular. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, exactly. For third person singular, exactly. So this is the other thing that we have um, that deal with possessive pronouns is first, second, or third person. So first person is obviously when you're talking about yourself. Second person is when you're talking about you. I don't know how else to explain that other than you. And third person is when you're talking about somebody or something else. Okay, so let's... Um, and then, Christoph, you mentioned also um, singular or plural is also what we have. Okay, um, I'm going to give you guys the list, so to speak, of possessive pronouns in just a second. But one thing I want to mention is we also have what's called possessive adjectives. Um, be careful not to mix up possessive pronouns with possessive adjectives. Um, one thing that I should mention is that Possessive adjectives normally go right before the noun, okay? But we're not going to, I don't want to get into that too much. Um, I'm sure one day we'll have a lesson on possessive adjectives, but not today. So let's go over um, possessive pronouns. Now, yesterday if you were in class, you might remember that we talked about the difference between subject and object pronouns. Possessive pronouns are what? Are they the subject of a sentence or the object of a sentence? Mm. So they are objects. Say that again, Christoph. They are objects. Subject. Um, they generally, yeah, they they are generally, um, they actually are generally object. Yes, exactly. Object. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go over this. Um, actually, I don't want to put it on the board. I don't feel like getting up. Okay, so first person singular, the possessive pronoun. <laughs> Is anybody know? Mine. 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 Yes. Mine. Second person. Your. <laughs> don't your. roll your R's, Esam. We don't roll our R's in English. Yours. Your. Yours. Your. 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 Yours. Mm -hmm. Yours. Third person singular masculine. Peace. His. His. Third person singular feminine. Hers. Hers. Good, Isam. I'm loving the pronunciation. No, it's good. I'm, I'm glad you're doing that. And third person um, singular neutral. It's. 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 Mm -hmm. Notice there's no apostrophe there. 
If I had an apostrophe, what is that? It is. It, it, is, it is. It is. It has. Yeah, it's it. The it's with an apostrophe is a contraction. It's without an apostrophe is possessive. Okay. Um. First person plural. Uh, 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 um, <laughs> ours. Uh, ours, ours, yes. ours, yes, ours. Ours. Yes, ours. Yes, good job. Good job. First person plural is ours. Um, second person plural. Yours. Still yours. The second person is really quite easy in English, thank God. <laughs> Probably the only thing that's easy in English. It stays the same. Um, third person plural. There's. 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 Good. Good job, guys. Nice. Um, all right. Let's see. Hi, Carlos and Heidi, by the way. Uh, hello. Nice How to are you? you? Oh, hi, thank you. Good. Good, good. How are you, Carlos? Huh? Carlos! I think he's mute. He might be muted. Mm. All right, let's, um, let me give you guys this article. We're actually, for once in my life, we're actually ahead of schedule. <laughs> I always run behind. And for once, we're actually ahead of schedule. So what I want to do is I want to take the time. Um, I'm going to read this article to you. And before we get into discussion, I want to take the time to have you, if you have any vocabulary questions, to ask me about them. So I know we've never, we very rarely ever go over vocabulary, which, by the way, is another thing that we're working on um, on our end is to incorporate more vocabulary into our lessons because I know that that's a big deal for you guys. So we're working on it, um, but since we have some extra time today, if I shut up and quit talking, um, I'll have you guys, um, if you have any vocabulary questions, I would like for you to go ahead and ask. Here's the link to the article. So if you have any, if there's any um, vocabulary um, words in this that you have questions about, jot them down or keep them handy for when, um, when we're done. So the title is Scream TV Pilot to be written by criminal minds and revenge producers. So there you can see that's a very young Drew Barrymore. This was like back in 95, I think. So here we go. What's your favorite scary TV show? That's actually a pretty legitimate question given the range of horror shows that have been on the airwaves in recent years. It might be suggested that the popularity of Twilight and the subsequent popularity of movie monster romance is what triggered the rash of shows like True Blood, Hemlock Grove, and American Horror Story to be greenlit for the small screen. But whatever the reason, it's a good time for horror fans to be turning on their TVs. MTV first tested the potential of reviving old movies as TV series with Teen Wolf, now in its third season, and then, about a year ago, began developing another such series based on the Scream franchise. The process has been slow, but Scream was ordered to pilot earlier this year, and now it seems that the network has begun signing creative talent to bring the idea to life. The Futon critic, whilst in attendance at this year's Teen Choice Awards, passed on a reveal from MTV that Criminal Minds and Revenge producers Dan Dworkin and Jay Beatty have been tapped to write the pilot episode of Scream. The news that the script is finally in the works is definitely a positive development, 
though it's something of a shame that Kevin Williamson, the writer of the original movies, apparently isn't involved. Of course, he's been busy with his own show, The Following, on Fox. It also remains to be seen whether Wes Craven will direct the pilot or whether someone else will be recruited for the job. And it's important to remember that the show has not yet been ordered to series. Though Dworkin and Beatty are better known as producers, they've also worked together many times as a writing team, penning episodes of both Revenge and Criminal Minds, as well as other shows like The Event, Cold Case, and Dragnet. Their prior experience suggests that there might be an element of the police procedural format in Scream, which would make sense since the movies are often as much about catching the killer as they are about running from him or her. Anybody ever, now that you see this mask, anybody ever seen Scream? Yes. Yeah. I, I used to love that. Scream, movie. yes. Oh, I Courtney like Cox. <laughs> Say that again? With Courtney Cox. Yeah, that's right. She's in it too. I totally forgot about that. Um, Screen Rant has already touched on the potential challenges of making a TV show from a slasher franchise. The most obvious one being that it may well run out of characters about halfway through the second episode. The running theme of the Screen movies has always involved watching youngsters wandering around in the dark by themselves and eventually being jumped upon and stabbed with some satire and a whodunit element mixed in for good measure. Horror has been executed well on TV many times before, Brian Fuller's current series of Hannibal being just one such example, and the genre continues to ease its way into mainstream acceptance. Teen Wolf has so far been a considerable success for MTV, and while it can sometimes feel like Dawson's Creek with werewolves, it does have its moments of genuinely great spookiness and gore. Perhaps the best example of a horror subgenre that doesn't naturally lend itself to longevity becoming a hit serial is The Walking Dead. As with slasher movies, zombie movies generally tend to start with a large group of people who get eaten or turned one by one. Uh, only a few or none of them, one or none, remain. The Walking Dead follows a similar pattern but spreads the deaths out over the course of the series and occasionally replenishes the group with new characters in order to maintain an, a, a large and diverse cast. At a guess, this is most likely the direction that Scream will, will take. Um, it will likely, or excuse me, it will be tricky to pull off, but if done well, the Scream series could actually be a rejuvenating force for the slasher genre. In a standard horror flick, characters will often only get a few minutes of screen time before being picked off by the killer in some gruesome way, making it difficult to root for them when they're being chased or feel sad when they die. The screen movies are already something of an exception to this rule since a number of characters manage to survive for two or three movies in a row, allowing the audience to become attached to them and give their deaths when and if they occurred greater impact. The ongoing format of a TV series would allow for an expansion of this trend that was already present in the movies. Do you have faith in Dorkin and Beatty's ability to bring the Scream series to life on the small screen? Tell us if you'd be interested in watching the show in the comments. All right, so uh, let's go over some vocab first. Um, any questions on vocabulary from this article? Hi, Liliana. Hi, Chennai. How are you? Sorry for being late. Oh, you're in so much trouble. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> no, I what just about, arrived home. What yeah. about the word that say screen rent? Screen rent has already. So rent. Screen, yeah, screen screen rent is the name of the website. But let's talk. Let's kind of break this down. First of all, um, the word "screen." Look at the context. When we're talking about "screen," in this case, what do you think the word "screen" refers to? 
Screen is main screen. Is say that again. Screen is what? Is main screen normal screen? I don't. If it's main in another world. Um, you're on the right track, Isam. Not not exactly, but you're close. Screen is the television, the TV. Screen is the TV, like. Yes. Yeah, I know it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, a movie screen. Yes, exactly. When we're talking about screen, the word in this case, screen is short for movie screen. Now let's talk about the second word, rant. Rant, yes. As is. Yeah. yeah. What does rant mean? Anybody know? Rant, rant. Hmm. I think I know it, but I can't remember. Rant. Mm, to talk. Yeah. Can you elaborate um, on that a little bit farther? Horse, horse uh, talking. Horse, uh, like, uh, uh, what can I say? Noisy horse, noisy sound. No, what I think. Close. Close. A rant is to go on and on and on and on about something. Okay, so this website gets its name from, it's kind of a play on words, Screen Rant. They are ranting, they are talking over and over and over again about movies or TV or, or, TV, or TV series. So Screen Rant is just kind of a play on words. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Uh, to, to speak about something? Say that again, Liliana. It's to speak about something in uh, in an angry way, or not necessarily no. angry. Um, it can it can be, um, but if you rant about something, it just means you go on and on and on about it. So mm -hmm. you talk about it a lot. Okay, a lot. For a long time, <laughs> till everybody's sick of you talking. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Yes. Any other vocabulary questions? Here, Liliana, here's the... Um, okay. I have a one teacher. Sure, go for it, Carlos. Uh, there is an, an phrase or verb that I, uh, I want to discover what is the meaning. Uh, it will be tricked to pull off. Be tricky? No, no, pull off. Oh, pull off. Pull off. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so pull off. If you pull off something, it means that you make it happen. Um, for example, um, I pull. Um, I, let me let me type a sentence. My dog is snoring. Or actually, she's not snoring, but she's having a dream. She's like whining in her sleep. Um, I pulled off a bank heist. It means that you like you made it happen without any problems. If you pull something off, that's what it means. It means that you are able to um, make it happen without any problems. Bring off. Mm, I've never heard that, Kristoff. I've never heard that used. Um, does that answer your question, Carlos, about pulled off or pull off? Yeah, I think is when you do something to to work work out. Yes. When you're able to do something without any problems, you've pulled it off. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay, I got it. Okay. Good question, by the way. Um, Christoph, you mentioned tirade. Is that, were you referencing that in terms of rant? Yes. Was, okay. Yeah. Good. Any other vocab questions? Get the uh, regarding uh, it will be trick. You c 
can you can use a trick for as a adjective as well when you were a trick man or you're a trick girl what is the meaning I, I, oh, I heard so. are you talking about like a stunt woman a, a, a stunt whoops so what you talk or are you referring to this sentence here um, it will be tricky to pull off It's because I, I, I've heard a trick used as adjective. I don't know if it's the same trick. For example, John is a trick man. Okay, yeah. Um, that Normally we're going to say a stunt man rather than a trick man. Um, you have what's called a trick a trick writer is someone in the circus um, and that might be where you've heard it used too um, for trick man or trick woman um, yeah something like a, a smart um, well um, if you call a woman a trick that's actually an insult. Um, that's if if you call a woman a trick, that means that she is very sexually promiscuous. So oh. yeah. So um, don't call a woman a trick unless unless it's the truth, obviously. But it that yeah. Don't that, do it. Yeah, don't do it. I would highly recommend not doing it. Um, so a woman who's a trick. Um, you can say that she like will pull tricks or she does tricks. Um, it's kind of a what we call a euphemism for having sex, um, usually for money. So it's kind of another word for prostitute. So yeah, <laughs> almost like bitch. <clears throat> um, no. Bitch is like when you're not a nice person, like you are, you have a bad attitude. Um, normally, bitch doesn't have anything to do with um, uh, sexual escapades, so so to speak. Um, but trick does. Trick is specifically um, if you sexual. Call it, yeah, is specifically sexual. Now, if you're talking, now, like I said, we have trick writers, which are people who perform tricks on horses in a circus. That's different. Um, people who do the tricks in movies or TV series, we change the word from trick to stunt and call them a stunt man or a stunt woman. So, yeah. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Hopefully I saved you from getting slapped across the face or something, Carlos. <laughs> so, um, let's, uh, let's talk about, my husband just walked in. He's like, trick woman, he started laughing. So, <laughs> um, Let's see. Um, let me ask a couple of questions and see if you guys, uh, what you think of these. If you could pick one movie to make into a TV show, which one would it be? You can... uh, I have one. Okay. Uh, the night. It's beautiful. Which one? Uh, I think it's a, an Italian film, but I would like to, to know the, um, the previous story. They say La Vie est Belle, but I think maybe Life is Beautiful in English. That's such a great movie, yeah. Um, yeah so I, I would like to know uh, about uh, their uh, stories. 
and when they when they just meet each other and uh, yes like a, a like a TV series I think it's a good story to like to follow the little boy after yeah. the concentration camp type of deal yes uh, I love this film it's and a great like movie the, the child performance oh, was great yeah he was he was fabulous that's very interesting, Liliana. I haven't thought about that movie in years. It's a great movie. Mm -hmm. It's a great movie. Anybody Can else? Yeah, go for it, Isam. Uh, I think about Angela Jolie. Angelina Jolie? Yes. Uh -huh. I, I like to be hero with his, him, with her. Her. With her. Uh, what's your favorite movie that Angelina Jolie is in? Mm, actually, I don't remember any movie. I I don't think I saw a lot of movie for here, but I don't remember the title of the movie. Okay. I can't. I have problem with that. I can't remember the title. Only Titanic. It is it, not for him. Titanic movies. I like it. Oh, Titanic. Titanic. Yes, I can remember this uh, title. And another uh, like mask and uh, uh, Spider Man, uh, Ryan, Ryan's Ryan, like uh, Ryan, yes. Mm. I just remembered. <laughs> would you like but, Would you like the movie Titanic to be made into a TV series? Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I could handle that. Um, I I saw that movie I think seven or eight times in the theater. I like to be instead what is name uh, the hero for Titanic? What was the name here? Jack or Leonardo yeah, DiCaprio? Yeah, yeah. I I like to be instead him. <laughs> it was great. You're funny. Um, Jose, if you could pick one movie to make into a TV show, which one would it be? Of course, I choose Gone with the Wind, definitely. Which one? Because Gone with the Wind. Uh, Gone, Gone with, with the Wind? wind. Uh, yes. Of course, yes. Ah! Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> Lovely. Gone, yeah. Of course, because uh, there's a, a very density history. There are many histories in that movie. Mm -hmm. It's a very long movie as well. Yes, it is. And a great mm -hmm. history, so... I could make many, many, many chapters in, mm -hmm. in a series in that movie, and maybe no Team Vampire will appear in that series, of course. Mm -hmm. and I know that movie by heart. I can mm -hmm. recite every single line in that movie. <laughs> of course, <laughs> me too. I've seen it way too many times. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I too. I, have the I don't get sick of it well. though. It's my favorite. It's my favorite movie of all time. Yeah. And I don't know. Yeah, me uh, too. Braveheart. Uh, Braveheart. Mm -hmm. Interesting yeah. film. That's another good one. Christoph, what movie would you pick to be made into a TV series? Mm, I thought about uh, Die Hard, <laughs> but I don't think so. I wanted to see in TV series. I prefer a big format. Okay. So, and can you think of any other movies that you would like to see maybe as a TV series? Mm, I thought about, but... Hmm. You like, <laughs> like them better as movies? I prefer big format. Yeah, that's right. Christoph, you don't even own a TV, right? No, I don't have a TV. <laughs> um, Carlos, what about you? If you could pick a movie to be made into a TV series, what would you pick? Uh, I was thinking on a movie, but I, I don't even remember that its name is in Portuguese, but maybe you can help me. Uh, it's for... Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was a big performance in this this movie, and he had a good a team that 
they are hired to invade the the the, the head of persons to steal their their information inside this their dreams. Oh, inception. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it was. yeah, yeah. That's. Um, it was Leonardo really off the hook. Yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio was in that too, right? I think. Inception. Inception. Yeah. 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 Nice. nice. Awesome, guys. Um, these are all these are all really good. Um, all right, let's see. Um, I'm going to for assessment. Um, I'm going to give you guys a choice. You can pick any possessive pronoun that we've gone over. So um, we've and we've gone over all of them. So I mean, you can you can pick any possessive pronoun, but I want you to be able to create a sentence using a possessive pronoun. So let's just quickly go over the possessive pronouns again. We have mine. Mine. Your. Yours. There we go. <laughs> he is her. Hers. Uh huh. Our. It's ours. Uh huh. It's. It's. I forgot. It's. Yours. Ours. Yours again. Yes. And, okay. Bye, Jose. And theirs. Okay. Mine. Yours. His. Hers. It's. Ours. Yours. Theirs. Um, Liliana, I'm going to start with you. Can you give me a sentence using one of these uh, possessive pronouns? Okay. Um, I I would like uh, to play uh, tennis uh, with um, with my no no <laughs> uh, with my Mine, 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 mine. Okay, no, no. Yes, I would like to play tennis uh, with a friend of a friend of mine. Uh, no, because I, I always heard that people say a yeah, friend of mine. That's true. Um, that's that's an idiomatic expression. That ah, we... it's not a possessive. Yeah. Okay. Um, I uh, I would like to um, no no. Each country has its uh, own culture. So we have to respect uh, their their custom. Yes. Okay, their customs. You d th that was good. You um, each kind. Of Whoops. So each country has its own culture. We'll just leave it at that. So good, good. So Liliana's used it, so nobody else can use it. So. <laughs> Christoph, um, yeah. pick a different one. Mm, the Kalingo is ours. Good, Kalingo is ours. Uh huh. Okay, so ours is done with. Nobody can use ours. Ours or its are off the table. Isam, give me another sentence using one of the other ones. Um, I saw one car. I think it is yours. Good. I saw one car I think is yours. All right. Good. And uh, so yours is off the table, Carlos. Pick another one. Uh, that car is hers. That car is hers. Good. Good. Nice job, guys. Very good. Um, I'll let you guys get to the next class. Um, it's been a pleasure. Next week is my last week, so I will have nine classes next week. 
Um, and I hope to see you guys in at least one of them. So, mm -hmm. yes, of course. <laughs> and have a fabulous weekend, guys. And I will see you next week. So. Thank you, Shane. Thank you, guys. Hope to see you again. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye, -bye. Bye guys.